What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1179, reformat department table. Mark this easy. Let's get into it. So we have a table called department which has an ID revenue month field. As an example we would have ID 1 for department 1 the revenue and in which month they made that revenue. Our task is to write an SQL query to reformat the table such that they say department ID column and a revenue column for each month. So that is best explained by just looking at the example output below. So we would have ID of the department, in this case one, and then we would have all the revenue for each month in a separate column. So we pretty much transpose the table and append a column for each month. So we pretty much want to sum up the revenue per department and then also for each month and if there's no sales in a given month we want to insert null which we can see from the output below so if we see something like that well we want to aggregate based on a value in a certain field which in this case is month we're probably going to use an if statement or case when then statement depends on your dialect on your SQL dialect and in this case we need to do this several times because we want to append several columns. So maybe that is best explained by just starting to write out some code. Okay, we're going to start out by selecting ID because that is still the first field we need. And then also fields called January revenue, February revenue and so on. So we're just going to start out by doing that for one of the fields. January revenue. So that should be the name and as I said we're going to use if or case when. I'm using if because it's shorter. So we're going to use our if condition to check if month is January. And then if that is true we want to use the information in the revenue field to use that as an input for our new column. And otherwise we want to choose null because if we don't have any cells in that month we want to input now. So the condition will be month is January. If that is true, we want to take revenue. If that is not true, we want to use null. Okay, we're gonna select that from our table department and let's just see what happens right now. It's nowhere near complete, but we get ID 1, 2, and 3, 1 and 1. And then for each row, we have, for each row in the input example table, we get an output row. And that means we have several rows for ID 1, department 1. Shouldn't be the case, we should only have one row per department, so we're going to group by ID as well and that should reduce the number of rows to three so we only have the three different departments nice so we only have January right now which is a problem that we could solve quite easily by copying the code we have for our January revenue and just changing it to February so let's try that maybe see if it's still works. Change that to February. So that gives us not just two columns but three columns. So we have January revenue, February revenue and we still have the ID and we have null values if there haven't been sales in February. Nice. So if we take a look at our output and the example output we see a slight difference for department one where we have 8,000 in January revenue but null in February revenue and it should be 7,000 for February revenue and this comes from going through the department table example input route here we're gonna go over the first row with ID one revenue 8,000 month January and our code is gonna check if month is January that is true so we use the revenue for our first new column, January revenue, 
And then when we come to the second column, February revenue, we're still gonna check that month. It's still January and we're gonna input null. That's why we have null here because we only get to check the first row because we group by and we don't have any aggregate function. So we're gonna add an aggregate function sum which is gonna sum up all the rows we have and not just use the first one and propagate it to our output and that way we're gonna summarize all rows we receive and get 7,000 for February because it's gonna sum up 7,000 and null values and I just need to check for oops put the brackets in the wrong spot and yeah this should fix our code and give us the required output for January and February all three example departments and now what we're going to do is just some old-fashioned copy and paste work kind of boring so we need to have 12 rows and just put that in as March April May June July and so on I'm just gonna forward that because it's quite boring but we're just gonna input the corresponding conditions and then also new names for the fields and gonna get the correct output Okay, so I typed in the right conditions and column names and as you can see we get the right output and if we submit that query we get an accepted result. I wouldn't expect this question to come up in a coding interview just because it's so much work to just type everything out. It might be okay as to just get maybe January, February, March just to see whether you can get to that solution without writing it out and then you also often have similar questions that ask you to summarize something something up based on a column value so if it's January you should add that to your sum function if it's male or female or something if you have that filter condition you can think of summarizing it and using if then else or a case when then and that should be something to keep in mind when you stumble upon problems similar to this one. Anyways, that's been it for this video. If it was helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to follow along. In the other tutorials, I'm going to go through all lead code database problems, starting with the easy ones and the ones that are available for free, but I'm going to go through all of them and give my solution or approach right here. That's been it. See you next time.